Second place in the points last year, that's 0-4 of Wyatt Van Wart. Starting inside row number three, in the number 73, that's Mike Taylor. On the outside, the 77 of Brett Rodwell. Row number four, the 53 is Logan Schwedek. On his outside, the 40 is Derek Leverance. And starting at the tail, the number 66 should be Brady Longboat. We don't see him making the call though, so we'll go with eight cars for eight laps of distance. Everybody will transfer to our 20 lap feature. And now they'll get the signal to double up. Salt a feature winner last year, Bryce Richardson, a perennial contender in that 11R on his outside. Then Bailey, we mentioned the track champion last year in the 49 car, set a new track record in the Thunderstocks in last week's test and tune. So he's definitely a driver to keep an eye on out there. Wyatt Van Wart in the 04 has been very close to the track championship on a couple of occasions. So good cars in the top four here as we get set to go with heat race number one for the Thunderstocks. Well, the green flag come out and here comes Carl Salt leading down into turn number one. Bailey shift into the middle with Bryce around the outside. They'll try and bring it square, but here comes Wyatt Van Ward up the middle. Van Ward recovering from a bit of a bad start there as he will take over the third spot. Richardson back to fourth. Up front, it's side by side now for the lead. Bailey up in the top side where he likes to run and Salt in the middle or to the bottom side where he normally likes to run, but right now it's Bailey with the preferred groove. And now here comes Van Ward for the second spot. Bailey also oh smooth there in the 49, almost won the Maryville Championships. Well, in the first time we see the Thunderstocks, four wide at the back, entering turn number three. They'll make a summer of that here, you can bet on it, but Bailey leading up front of the Jibs Action Sport 49, but Wyatt Van Ward is on the move, Tommy. He definitely is. He's been, he and his team have been working hard on that car to find some extra speed over the winter, and he's now to the inside of Bailey in corner four, can't get it done that time as we have three laps in and five to go. Van Wart all over Bailey for the lead now. Down the back shoot, here comes Van Wart again up to the numbers on Bailey. Now he gets to the Nerf bar up front and they work it around to the inside of three and four. Wyatt Van Wart also gonna campaign a late model down at Humberstone on Sundays for Jay Leverance this year. He'll get some extra seat time, but right now a battle between two of the veterans. Yeah, Bailey and Van Wart going at it here for that lead. So far, still side by side as Salt continues to fall back. Not really in the fight for the lead is Salt anymore. Van Wart with a good run out of corner four, and he will take the lead from Bailey on lap number five. Just been slowly chipping away at that 49, especially on a turn two, and you watch him make up some distance here as the guys who are coming off the inside seem to be pulling away. Then the guys working the outside. Carl Salt stuck in the middle way out in front of Bryce Richardson in the third position. Bailey tried the bottom side there and it didn't really work out too well for him, but he tries it again in corner one. Bailey generally sets that car up to run the top side though, as he told you during the off season, Clinton. And now he goes back up there, but Van Wart with a very strong run here, white flag out for the 0-4. These two guys, certainly the class to watch throughout the summer. As you can see, they've already put a big gap on them. Carl Salt should be good here in the 81 car as well. Last time down the back straightaway and Wyatt Van War. Who says you shouldn't bring a green race car to the track? Certainly not the affordable team and he will get it done here. Wyatt Van War over Dave Bailey and Carl Salt and a long way back, Tommy, for the rest of the field. Yeah, still coming out of corner four now is Bryce Richardson. He'll take the fourth spot Then it is Derek Leverance fifth, Logan Schwedek sixth, Brett Rodwell seventh, and Mike Taylor in the 73 will finish in the eighth spot. He race number two already rolling onto the track in corner three. This he race for the Thunderstocks brought to you by Burger Barn. Hyundai Sonata, dark blue, Dale 83, you need to go to your car right away, please.
White flag there. We'll go green flag racing next time by Metalworks Powder Coating Heat Race number three. Next week is our emergency services night. You want to make sure you're here for that one? That's next Friday, May the 27th. And if you are a first responder, bring your ID to the track and you will get in for free. So if you know someone that's a first responder, make sure you invite them out to Ashwikan Speedway next Friday night, free admission for all of our emergency services folks. We want to thank them by inviting them out to a free night at the races. Green flag in the air, Metalworks. Powder coating heat race number three is underway. Jeremy May already working to the inside, groove down low. Look at Lamaris started dead last in this one. He's already working to the inside of Miller down the back shoot. Side by side between May and DeBoer. That 23 car is, uh, saw them on Facebook today saying we'll have a paint job next week. That's just as close as they could get, but uh, up there running in front of the field. Working here on the bottom again comes the veteran Derek Lamaris. Been here since we raced Dirt Sportsman. And working his way here, looking for a bit of groove. Can he find a run down low? Not sure. Jeremy May, how about this guy? Come up through the ranks, bomber, mini stock down to Thunderstock and running good. Yeah, looking strong there aboard car number 16, but here comes the Wiley veteran on the bottom side, the Burger Barn 56 of Derek Lemaire. Drag racing down the back stretch. DeBoer there in the mix as well as Melissa Miller. Melissa Miller hanging tough with that lead pack as they come here out of turn four. May on the outside, nosing out in front of Derek Lemaire. But that beautiful Burger Barn 56 working to the inside. Jason Hill from the Burger Barn here to cheer on his teams tonight. And he's got to be proud of what he sees here with Lemaire as May takes a piece of the backstretch wall. Yeah, we'll have a look when he comes by the stands this time to see what happened to the right side of the 16. Lemaire in the front, DeBoer in second, little pancake in on the 16. Little white uh, white walls going on the uh, right rear there of May, but all four still up. Down the back shoot they go. DeBoer still trying to hang tight with Lamar. Nearly got crossed up and took a piece of them, but they keep it straight and square. Jason Longuero on that number seven. That's the former Lee Winger number two from last year that a bunch of guys drove. Longuero at the tiller of that one now as they work around. Leaders coming up on his rear bumper here as they work it down the back straightaway. Longuero. Still trying to grab the handle. Lemaire right up to the wall, Greg. Lemaire, DeBoer, May, and Miller all together right now going at it for the top spot. Two to go for Derek Lemaire in the 56. Lemaire looking smooth and steady on the bottom of one and two. Longuero still trying to find the handle here as he's doubled up the cylinders and moved into the V8 division here. Lemaire to the inside. He'll streak down there. DeBoer and May trying to find the way underneath Longuero also. Across the strike, the white flag is out for Derek Lemaire. Trevor DeBoer right now sitting in that second spot as they work by the lap car of Jason Lungaro. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. Here they go, Lemaire looking smooth and steady, finding life here, racing with the Thorn crew and loving it. Been running good the past couple of seasons in the Thunderstocks and he will grab the checkers here ahead of DeBoer, May, Miller and Liverance. That concludes qualifying for the Affordable Towing and Recovery Thunderstocks. That final qualifying heat again brought to you by Metalworks Powder Coating. Greg, did you get a chance to eat? Hyundai Sonata, dark blue, Dale 83. You need to go to your car right away, please. White flag in there. We'll go green flag racing next time by Metalworks Powder Coating Heat Race number three. Next week is our emergency services night. You wanna make sure you're here for that one? That's next Friday, May the 27th. And if you are a first responder, bring your ID to the track and you will get in for free. So if you know someone that's a first responder, make sure you invite them out to Ashwikan Speedway. Next Friday night, free admission for all of our emergency services Folks, we want to thank them by inviting them out to a free night at the races. Green flag in the air, Metalworks. Powder coating heat race number three is underway. Jeremy May already working to the inside, groove down low. Look at Lemaire started dead last in this one. He's already working to the inside of Miller down the back shoot. Side by side between May and DeBoer. That 23 car is, uh, 
Saw them on Facebook today saying we'll have a paint job next week. This is as close as they could get, but uh, up there running in front of the field. Working here on the bottom again comes the veteran, Derek Lemaire. Been here since we raced. Dirt Sportsman. And working his way here, looking for a bit of groove. Can he find a run down low? Not sure. Jeremy May. How about this guy? Come up through the ranks. Bomber, mini stock now in the Thunderstock and running good. Yeah, looking strong there aboard car number 16. But here comes the Wiley veteran on the bottom side. The Burger Barn 56 of Derek Lemaire. Drag racing down the back stretch. DeBoer there in the mix as well as Melissa Miller. Melissa Miller hanging tough with that lead pack as they come here out of turn four. May on the outside, nosing out in front of Derek Lemaire. But that beautiful Burger Barn 56 working to the inside. Jason Hill from the Burger Barn here to cheer on his teams tonight. And he's got to be proud of what he sees here with Lemaire as May takes a piece of the backstretch wall. Yeah, we'll have a look when he comes by the stands this time to see what happened to the right side of the 16. Lemaire in the front, DeBoer in second, little pancake in on the 16. Little white uh, white walls going on the uh, right rear there of May, but all four still up. Down the back shoot they go. DeBoer still trying to hang tight with Lamar, nearly got crossed up and took a piece of them, but they keep it straight and square. Jason Longuero on that number seven, that's the former Lee Winger number two from last year that a bunch of guys drove. Longuero at the tiller of that one now as they work around. Leaders coming up on his rear bumper here as they work it down the back straightaway. Longuero. Still trying to grab the handle. Lemaire right up to the wall, Greg. Lemaire, DeBoer, May, and Miller all together right now going at it for the top spot. Two to go for Derek Lemaire in the 56. Lemaire looking smooth and steady on the bottom of one and two. Longuero still trying to find the handle here as he's doubled up the cylinders and moved into the V8 division here. Lemaire to the inside. He'll streak down there. DeBoer and May trying to find the way underneath Longuero also. Across the stripe, the white flag is out for Derek Lemaire. Trevor DeBoer right now sitting in that second spot as they work by the lap car of Jason Lungaro. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. Here they go, Lemaire looking smooth and steady, finding life here, racing with the Thorn crew and loving it. Been running good the past couple of seasons in the Thunderstocks and he will grab the checkers here ahead of DeBoer, May, Miller and Liverance. That concludes qualifying for the Affordable Towing and Recovery Thunderstocks. That final qualifying heat again brought to you by Metalworks Powder Coating. Greg, did you get a chance to eat? Eric Liverance. Run number eight on the inside, then number eight, Ryan Dinning. On the outside, the 911, Nick Liverance. Run number nine on the inside, the 53 is Logan Schwedek. On the outside, and number one is Chris Dickey. Run number 10 on the inside, number seven is Jason Langero. On the outside, the 77, Brett Rodwell. Row 11 on the inside, the 68, Jens Mortensen on the outside, 13X, Craig White. Then in row number 12, it's the 73 of Mike Taylor on the outside, the 93 of Mike, 93K of Mike Klazinga. And row 13, the 13, Casey Hoffman, and the 38D of Derek Miller. Those will be your 26 cars scheduled to go. 20 laps of distance here tonight. For Ackland Insurance season opener night here at Oshweekin Speedway, again, we thank you for joining us. Dave Bailey and Bryce Richardson will lead them through for the first green flag of the season for the Thunderstock division. Probably one of the rare nights they'll get to start up front once handicapping and everything comes into play. Bailey going to try and make some hay here tonight, but so is Bryce Richardson. Green flag is out. The affordable towing and Thunderstocks get their season underway. Bailey gets a good start, Richardson not so much, and they're already four wide for the third <laughs> spot over in quarter two. Awesome. May, Van Wart, Fargnoli, and Richardson, four wide through three and four, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we get it done here at the Big O. Richardson losing spots as Hess has gotten around him, now Van Wart around him as well. Jeremy May and Carl Salt going after it. Richardson trying to recover now in the 11R. Here comes Jeremy May to the inside though as Hess is working on the 49 of Dave Bailey. Lampman and Fargnoli rub doors as they get into three. Look at Lampman on the outside. He must have put the slick track set up in. That car is biting on the outside. Almost looks like the Oshweekin uh, flyer out there. And then heavy sparks of the Lemaire left front as he gets on the brakes heading down into th one. Yeah, Lemaire in the 56 back there in about the eighth spot. Up front, it's still Bailey as he's put a couple car lengths between himself and Steve Hess. 
in the 777X. Then it's side by side for the third spot. Carl Salt and Wyatt Van Wart going at it. As Salt gets a good bite out of corner two and he'll take the third spot away. Off the bottom of four, here comes Dave Bailey. Working down the front shoot with a big run. In the one they go. Bailey on the bottom side right now, not where he says he normally likes to run, but when you're up front, that's the place to be on that bottom side. Make everybody pass you on the outside. So he's got the lead right now, then it's Hess second, Salt third, then Jeremy May up to fourth now, around the inside of Wyatt Van Wart, who now fights back on the top side. Lemaire and Lampman also up in that fight. Lemaire working on the back corner here of Wyatt Van Wart as they work off a of turn number two. Here comes Ja'Carri into the mix. Dale Ja'Carri working his way inside the top 10 now as he drives underneath the Lampman 28. Lemaire clears Van Wart. So top three have broken away here. Salt is starting to catch the top two, or at least Steve Hess anyway, as Hess has fallen back about another car length from Dave Bailey. Behind them, fourth place up for grabs there. Lemaire almost into the side of the 16, but he manages to stay clear of him, and Jeremy May will hold that fourth spot. Just as you mentioned that, the officials come on the radio and tell the, each other to watch the 16 and the 56 as there was some contact down in the three the last time by. Here they go, three wide now. Van Wart, Lemaire, and Ja'Carri making moves on the inside. Ja'Carri's made up some spots here. He started in the 11th spot, almost up into the top five now as he gets to the inside of Wyatt Van Wart. Ja'Carri's got a great line going. That is not going to pay off for Lemaire up on the outside. Tonight, the bottom is the place to be. Still lots of goody good stuff down on the inside and near the rail. And that's where you got to put those left rear tires into. Dave Bailey clears the first of the lap traffic he's going to have to deal with here and puts Steve Hess and Carl Salt back into that position, but they get clear of the 73 of Taylor as well. Dale Jacari battling with Lemaire and Van Wart trying to hold on to the fifth spot, and as he battles with them, he'll steal fourth away from May up on the outside. Carl Salt working on Steve Hess still, as behind them, Dale Jacari and Jeremy May going at it. Jeremy May may have got a piece of the wall at some point here. The right front of that car has some white paint on the tire, but he's still going forwards at the moment. Smoke out of the Derek Miller 38. He looks like he is slowing down and headed for the pits. All of the warning light glowing out of the cockpit of the 38 machine. Bailey now working to keep Hess and Salt in behind. He's got a good lead up front and Dale Jacari now all alone in fourth as he's cleared that pack and starting to stretch things out. The 88 needs a yellow, Tommy. Yeah, he's a long way back, but he's definitely starting to catch up now that he's in clear track. Meanwhile, second place side by side now. Salt finally gets to the inside of Steve Hess and clears him for the moment. Hess will try to fight back as Bailey back into some more traffic. Bailey, a veteran here of the Speedway, knows the way to pick through these slower machines. Gets clear of the 68, and now looks down into three. Salt around Hess, and he will chase Bailey. Salt has a quick car, got a couple feature wins last year here. Also some bad luck that kept him out of the championship chase, but Salt knows how to get around this Speedway as well. Former track champion in the mini stock division trying to chase down Dave Bailey who got his first track title here this weekend last year. Dave Bailey runs a generation two Camaro. Carl Salt runs the gen three Camaro. And if you talk to the guys on the pits, the generation three Camaro has so much rear bite Tommy on a slick track like tonight. I gotta think that's a big advantage. Yeah, he's definitely catching up now is Salt on Bailey, but catching him's one thing and passing him's going to be another because Bailey has hold a, has held a very steady line on the bottom of the track there, and now he's got a lot of clear track in front of him. Finally gets clear of the seven of Longuero to put him a lap down. Less than a handful to go, and Carl Salt draws up to the back bumper. The Jibs Action Sports Window Works 49 of Dave Bailey, the defending champ. Salt won his fair share of features and championships over the years setting up a great season if it's going to be these two going at it. Bailey left a bit of room there getting into turn one. Salt almost got the nose in there, but Bailey slams the door shut again in turn one and two. Behind them, Steve Hess has fallen back, but still holding the third spot. Then it's Dale Jacari in fourth in the number 88 car. 
two to go for Dave Bailey and the Brewster Paker. Liverance here as they bring it around to the inside, a one and two. Salt still there looking for something, anything to take a shot here at Dave Bailey and stopped card three and four. Yellow is out. Oh boy. Looks like Melissa Miller with problems on the inside of turn four. Lost the handle and the car almost stopped. Officials had no choice but to go yellow. Single file, they're calling them. Single file lap cars to the back, Tommy. So that's the good news for Dave Bailey, as he won't have to start double file with Carl Salt beside him. Bad news is I think Bailey just wanted to get that race over with because Salt wasn't able to get much done with him under green and he might have a chance to regroup here. From anywhere at any time. So watch the mid to backpack here as the veterans gonna go. Here we out, green is out. They can start passing, look at Derek Lemaire. He knows the way, got under Jacari and now going after Hess. Salt's got a good start there, but not quite good enough to get a nose under Dave Bailey. So Bailey continues to lead here. And here comes Wyatt Van Ward and Derek Lemaire. That caution worked to their advantage. Dave Bailey coming down to the white flag. We've seen this a lot in 2015. The rest of these teams are not liking the start to 2016 with the 49 out front. Here comes Salt. One final stab into three. Tommy, can he take it? Yes, he will. Well, he had a good run at it, but Bailey is there on the bottom. It doesn't leave any room for Salt. Bailey will get the win on opening night. Salt will be second, has third, Jacari fourth, and Derek Lemaire will round out the top five. So we'll send Greg Kellen down to Mobile One Victory Lane with our feature winner tonight in the Thunderstocks, Dave Bailey. And he'll also talk to second place Carl Salt and third place tonight, Steve Hess. A good 2015 affordable towing and recovery Thunderstock champion. The same car, new body, new paint job, but it looks the same, and it looks the same in Victory Lane. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, out of the Jibs Action Sports. Window Works 49. How about a big hand for your defending champ, Dave Bailey? Come on and we'll do the 50-50 quick, ladies. Get out your 50-50 tickets and they'll try and find a winner while we talk to Dave down here. How much? Wow, $1,267.50. $1,200 plus here. Dave, you got a ticket? 090317. 090317 for $1,267. Dave, what a way to start your season. I mean, uh, a good deal for you starting up front. You're not going to have that luck most of the season, but talk about your evening. Well, uh, the racetrack's way different than it was last Friday, that's for sure. <laughs> um, I was down at the bottom. I guess that's where you had to be. I moved all around in the heat, and it didn't work. And I don't know because we're not allowed to have mirrors, but I'm pretty sure Carl was probably faster than us because... He's got a really loud exhaust, and I could tell he was there. He was definitely there. Who do you want to thank, Dave? Uh, I got to thank um, Mark and Cheryl at Jibs, um, Johnny at Window Works, and Janet Club 54. Congratulations, Dave Bailey. He starts the season off in championship form, right where he left off. We get over here and talk to Carl Superman Salt. Who gave you that name? It says it right there, but I wouldn't want to mess with you, Carl. How about your run, man? Pretty good. We talked a bit about the difference between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3. Looked like your rear drive kind of helped you out tonight battling Bailey. Is that the case? Yeah, it helped out. Uh, the car was handling great. It was loose in the uh, first heat. But we changed, made some changes, and it's stuck in the feature. I was waiting for Bailey to slip up, but he never did. Track a bit slick for you guys, but still a good showing. Who do you want to thank for second here tonight? i got to thank my uncle for sure. He's out uh, helping me every night. But i also like to thank Great Lakes Brewery. i got Brian Bomber. i got Action Transmission. i got Waterhouse uh, Lawyer. There's uh, some other sponsors, Insight Graphics and Design. Without them, this all wouldn't be possible either. Good job, Carl Salt. Grab second, Steve Hess. Not a bad run for you, man. You were kind of in it all day today. Yeah. Let's talk about your run. Seen a bit of smoke out of the car. You worried about that? Uh, the train just got a little hot. That's all. It's overflow. That's all. Who do you want to thank for third place here tonight, Steve? Solid run for you to start your season. Yeah, I think it runs better with no stickers on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Tone line variety, uh, bare bar gas convenience, uh, Smith Ceramics, Gales Auto Aftermarket, S Auto Tech, and that's about it on my crew. Good job. How about a hand for all of our top three in the affordable towing and recovery Thunderstock division? Dave Bailey, Carl Salt, and Steve Hess start their season off in beautiful fashion. We've got one more feature event to come, ladies and gentlemen. It's time now for the Strickland's GMC Crate Division. We're ready to bring them out. We've got a ton of rookies in this one. The class is growing. It's going to be a wild one. Make sure you stick around. Greg and Tommy, up to you guys. Or Tommy. <laughs> 